Just days before the Mueller report is released, at least by next week, the Attorney General William Barr yesterday turning the tables on the investigation into President Trump's campaign. Listen to this. I am reviewing the conduct of the investigation and trying to get my arms around all the, the aspects of the uh, counterintelligence investigation that was conducted during the summer of 2016. But obviously, if, if there's a predicate for an investigation, it'll be conducted. This, as our next guest says, he's taking action to stop leaks in Washington by sending criminal referrals to the Department of Justice. Congressman Devin Nunes is a ranking member on the House Intel Committee and joins us right now from Statuary Hall. Congressman, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. It's morning in America. It's, isn't it great to have a real attorney general doing his job? Well, what's he talking about? What was he talking about looking into? Well, look, we're, we're going to send over referrals that we've been investigating for two and a half years. We've been looking at FISA abuse, uh, manipulation of intelligence, leaks, lying to Congress. So those are going to go uh, over to the attorney general. We're going to notify him uh, that we're prepared to send those over and then we'll be ready to brief him at his convenience. So you have got a list of, of names of people you uh, suspect of criminal activity in the run up to the investigation. But then yesterday he was talking about how he's reviewing the conduct of the FBI's original uh, look into the Russia collusion thing with the Trump yeah. campaign. So and that's, we're, ta and, we're talking and that's about very two serious. Things. Well, right. that's, that's very serious because, as you know, uh, for a long time, FBI DOJ have been claiming that they didn't do anything right. until the end of July. That's not true. Uh, this investigation started in early 2016, and I actually believe it's possible it even started in late 2015. Wow. And so these are some of the things that we want to make sure that we brief the attorney general on so that he knows. Because, uh, look, we've have a, we have a lot of sources, right, that have come to us, uh, that have brought us information. Right. Uh, great Americans uh, who did the right thing to come forward to, because they knew that the Department of Justice and the FBI that they love had run amok under the previous administration. Well, that's good news to everybody who's interested in, you know, finally seeing how all the dots are connected because it's been such a gray area for so long. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, it's, been a long, it's been a long road on this. And, yeah. I, and, and the American people are frustrated. So Absolutely. we need to bring finality to this. I know you're frustrated uh, because you have filed a $150 million lawsuit against the McClatchy newspapers because uh, you say they defamed you uh, with a headline and a story about a, a charity fundraiser, right? Yeah, so what we're doing is we sued Twitter because they were shadow banning me. They're banning conservatives a few weeks ago. We're taking it to the courts. Now we're looking at McClatchy, but we're actually going to go after several news media outlets. It is not okay. We're, we're public figures. You're a public figure. I'm a mm -hmm. public figure. You can say mean things to us all you want, but you cannot accuse us maliciously of committing federal crimes over and over and over again. And you know this because you guys had to cover a lot of this over the course of the last mm -hmm. two years. Don't forget, McClatchy is also the biggest perpetrator of fake news. They're the ones that said that Cohen was in Prague. Uh, it was all nonsense, and they need to retract those fake news stories. Well, uh, Congressman, they have put out a statement regarding it. They say that your lawsuit represents a baseless attack on local journalism and a free press at a time when local journalism is facing more pressing and urgent challenges. The lawsuit is an unproductive distress and a misuse of the judicial system. What do you say to McClatchy? I, I am absolutely sure that they do not want this to get to discovery so that we find out who their sources are. Somebody gave them the, the phony information that the National Rifle Association uh, was involved with Russia collusion. Somebody gave them the phony information that Cohen was in Prague when he wasn't. Somebody gave them phony information about me that they, that they ran over and over again across all of their platforms and digitally accusing me of federal crimes. That's not okay. So uh, they can talk all they want, uh, but we'll see them in court. All right, you will indeed. All right, Congressman Devin Nunes, thank you very much for joining us today from Statuary Hall. Thank you, sir. Meanwhile